I like it. Okay, that's the video. Like and subscribe. Just kidding. Hi guys, it's Stanley again. Howdy, howdy, howdy. What was that about? Anyway, uh, my thoughts on not safe for work art. I don't mind it as long as you don't look at <laughs> doing work. I like, I don't make a lot of it. I have made some, but I don't make a lot of it because it's kind of time consuming, but at the same time it's very enjoyable. I may start doing some, however, and start posting it on my Patreon if actually whenever I make a Patreon. Or like I can post it, I can post it on Kofi. No, actually I can't post it on Kofi. I cannot post it there because first of all I have no idea how Kofi works. This is not the T sys and their uh, policies I don't think I don't think their policies allow not safe for work material to be posted there or linked. I think that's so something to do with PayPal. Censorship is kind of blah, you know? But at the same time, I understand that some things aren't child appropriate. And a lot of kids can run around the internet, stumble upon material that's not for them. Like stumble upon Cryodex channel, maybe his Discord, and get themselves into a bad situation. Okay, maybe that's too soon. But like, you know what I mean. I do believe that children should be protected from art like that. Like, not protected, but I do think that's not for them. <laughs> I would feel very uncomfortable if I posted some risque art on the internet and a child stumbled upon it. But at the same time, I do believe that it's the parents' job to moderate what their children see on the internet. There are some safety precautions that parents can take. They can block sites with such things. There are steps they can take. I know that doesn't always work, but for the most part, parents can, can moderate what the children see. However, I also think that it's the creator's responsibility to post such arts on places which are as least accessible to children as possible. Like, for instance, for instance, DeviantArt is not... It's probably not the best place to post something like that. Oh, I know that's 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 basically why I don't really post a lot of not safe for work material, and the material I do post usually is censored, censored in the way that it's censored in the speed paint I am playing right now. <laughs> I do think that uh, a good place to post not safe for work art is on Patreon behind the paywall or on such sites that have paywalls because that way they're less, less, first of all, they're less accessible to children and second of all, it's a nice way to make money. Like that type of art sells pretty well. I think it sells better than most regular art. If you're good at anatomy and if you can draw people in poses, you can definitely make a hefty buck from doing art like that. I personally haven't tried my hand in selling not safe for work art, but, but honestly, I would make a tier on Patreon. But it's gonna be like one month per art because I pro I'm looking for a job. I just I just applied for a job and I'm working on my comic book and I'm doing designs on Redbubble and I'm doing merch for my comic on Social uh, Society Six and. <laughs> I am going to be doing my second... I would be animating my second film. I don't have a lot of free time. 
but at the same time I do have a lot of free time. I have I also have some things to do for other people, video editing. I also I have to color in some frames as an entire scene actually for my friend's animated film because she hired me for that. It's I'm a busy boy. I'm a busy boy and at the same time I do have free time. <laughs> what the fuck? It's it's because I don't go outside. I'm a shut-in and I stay at home and just work on projects and try to make a, a living, I guess. But yeah, we'll see how things turn out and if I start selling things from home. I would love that, like selling artwork on Patreon. But first of all, I have to accumulate an audience. And I guess that's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> In the end of the day, we're all just trying to do the things we love. And I love making not safe for work art. I love that. It's it's very it lets me practice my anatomy, which is really fun to me. I really like drawing sexy faces, nice bodies. It's it's an art kink. <laughs> You could say it's just fun to draw these things. I I don't know why. Usually I'm very proud when I do anatomy correctly. Something that is difficult. If I do it correctly or if I make it look good, I'm very proud of that and I guess that's where this comes from. And since I'm an animator, maybe I'll start animating some not safe for work stuff. But I think that will throw me into a whole other <laughs> industry <laughs> from what I initially planned. But I, I like doing different stuff. I like to do both family-friendly Christian stuff and uh, sinful, horrifying, forbidden stuff. I'm a, I'm a man of many, many things I wanna do <laughs> in my life. I have no clear direction. I am just here and I wanna do it all. I want to do it all. And by do it all, I mean all, I, that includes not safe for work art. I love doing it. I encourage people to do it as well because it's a great practice in anatomy. You can really study the anatomy of a human person if you if you do that type of art. Most people aren't going to encourage it, but I do in fact encourage it. If not to make risky art, you can do it just for the practice. You can look at some images of models or stock photos or, s or such. There are a lot of stock photos on DeviantArt, but I don't recommend... You can stumble upon something really bad <laughs> on DeviantArt, and if you're young, I wouldn't advise you to go searching for naked people there. Like, when I was 14, I was just accepted into an art high school and we had what was called an evening act. An evening act is basically we gather in the in the gym and there's a podium there and the naked model poses while we draw sketches of that person. Most of the time the model wore underwear but a lot of the times they also did not. They were fully nude and of course there was a teacher there so he instructed us on how to do an anatomy better. So I went to this evening act throughout the entire year, I think. Well, I did. I skipped some years of it because I couldn't. <laughs> I really didn't want. Hey, I was lazy. I was kind of lazy when I was younger. Now I'm less lazy. But I did go to it often whenever I didn't feel as lazy. I did drew sketches. There was a similar course in university as well. I drew naked bodies there as well of models and that really helped me with my anatomy. That combined with anatomy books which showed me how to draw a skeleton, the muscles, how the skin overlaid over that. 
It's just the the way to learn how to draw human bodies is to draw human bodies. A very good way to do that is to is to draw real people. The best way to learn is if you can see the person in 3D right in front of you. But also, if you can't, if you don't have access to that, you can just look at stock photos. But again, if you're a child, don't do that. You can stumble upon really, really, really risky pictures and save yourself the trouble. If you're a child, I suggest you buy an anatomy book which has pictures and maybe example drawings. The artist's preferred anatomy is by Bames. I don't know if that's that's how you pronounce the name in English, but anatomy of Bames. B-A-M-M-E-S. The one anatomy, however, anatomy book I really like is called Anatomy for the Artist by Sarah Simblet. And it has photos in it of models. They're usually very physically fit models, so it doesn't have a wide variety of body types. It's mostly physically fit people. But I, I like the fact that there are people of different races depicted. I would want an anatomy with more body types in it so I can better understand how, for instance, fat accumulates in a body and how muscles look when you're not that physically fit. Though I, I, don't, I do think I have an idea. I have seen anatomy like that in the Bahamas anatomy book but I want more examples with actual models. I do like the illustrations but I also want to see pictures in order to understand what's happening. Also what a friend of mine suggested and said and I disagreed with him back then but I do think he's right because he did make a solid point. Don't just copy the pictures, read the book. The book will explain to you things that you see but don't understand, so you can see the pictures and also understand them. It's not so much important to see how it looks as it is important to understand how it works. Because with understanding, you also understand how to draw it in different positions. This turned into an anatomy course and it started out as a... (laughs) It started out as a lecture about... No, it wasn't even a lecture. It started out as me talking about not safe for work images. But yeah, with that said, not safe for work images are, to me, like not in images, but like drawings depicting even sexual acts. These type of drawings are useful to me. I do think it's a nice idea to be able to draw these. I don't condone drawing not safe for work art. However, I will say, um, I will say, tread carefully. Be careful where you post these images. I feel like people do hold some responsibility about what they do with art like that. Actually, they hold a lot of responsibility. (laughs) Some of the responsibility is on the parents, of kids who might see this and some of the responsibility is on the artist himself or herself or themselves. There's just a lot of responsibility involved in my opinion when it comes to art which is kind of risky. As for the not safe for work thing, it's the, it's kind of weird to me because I, I used to work in an animation studio. Actually, uh, we were working on a series which was kind of borderline racist like some of the humor was very race-based and at the same time it was not funny at all basically it wasn't allowed for us to look at not safe for work material which is fine i'm not gonna crack open pornhub at the workplace but like at the same time we can look at art and take some inspiration i'm at a weird place with the not safe for work stuff because it's art and I don't think someone having opened such an image at work should get them into trouble 
I think it should get them into trouble with the fact that they're opening up images and browsing the internet instead of working, but that's another topic. <laughs> also, most people won't really open up stuff like that or browse things like that at work because the history is being monitored and, you know, it would be very, very embarrassing if your boss is like, um, hey, I saw what you were looking at. That's weird. Are you masturbating instead of working? It's not the place <laughs> for that, but there's also weird people. Weird people who do that and who would do that at work. And I'm scared that I live here where this is a reality. Just open art like that at home. Don't. Don't do it at the workplace, please. This is not this is not the time and place for this. Don't do it. But yes, I like not safe work art. I like drawing it and I like seeing what people have done with it. There's there are a lot of pretty good images of not safe for work art and I like looking at them. Mostly for inspiration for my own drawings. There are some not safe for work pieces which rub me the wrong way. <laughs> like I'm not talking about the very uh, the elephant in the room with the weird fetish art on deviant arts, which is not even an anatomically possible, and at the same time it's very unsettling. <laughs> I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about some pieces, for instance, of actual people who exist in the world. They're celebrities and there's people who use their likeness very, very accurately to draw them in very not safe for work ways. I actually have been shocked at what I've seen. There's like people who draw actual celebrities and Instagram models in very homosexual scenarios and they they really they really accurately portray their faces. It's very obviously these people. To me that's kind of um, creepy to say the least. I understand if you do that for like people in the adult industry, but drawing actual straight actors having gay sex to me is, or like not having gay sex, but being gay, <laughs> to me that's weird. It's I don't I don't like it. It's there are people who do this, and I I'm scared. <laughs> This is... I would be creeped out if somebody did something like that of me, for instance. Okay, I wouldn't exactly be... Actually, I would be kind of flattered. <laughs> to be completely honest, I would be kind of flattered, but at the same time, I would be kind of like, mm, that is kind of weird though, and for some people it would probably be... Some people may be weirded out. There's blatant sexualization of these actual people who are drawn like fucking porn stars. It, it rubs me the wrong way. It could be just me. I could be overthinking it, but I do feel... I do feel that it's kind of too much. It... I don't... I don't like it. <laughs> I mean... If like, he, I, it has happened that I take a picture of a celebrity who has been in a photo shoot and like I do an artistic rendering of that picture. I've done that. I think that's fine. But taking an actor's face and drawing it on a body in a provocative pose I think I think that's a little bit too much, especially if they start looking like a gay porn star. I feel like it's weird, and I'm gay. I'm very gay, but I wouldn't. I I feel like that's kind of a breach of privacy. Like even even famous people deserve some privacy. It's I could be wrong. <laughs> I could be very wrong, but to me it's kind of creepy. To me it's very similar to like writing actual fan fiction with people who actually exist and like slashing them together. 
It's even creepier when you find out that the people who have been drawn in these images are actually in heterosexual relationships. I just feel like they would feel very uncomfortable. But yeah, with that said, I do like not safe for work art, but keep it, keep it, keep it with actual characters or like people in the industry. <laughs> Don't draw actual celebrities in that way. Though it's not a crime, I feel like it's it makes them feel if they see this it's gonna make them feel uncomfortable and i don't think we want that i know it's a sign of admiration but that's that's exactly why i think it's a bad idea because i don't i don't think anyone wants to make a celebrity they like feel uncomfortable anyway that's that's the end of the video not safe for work art is great but keep it classy like and subscribe unless you disagree with me then leave a hate comment check out my social media down below in the things below i have a redbubble shop a ko-fi account where you can donate if you want i have my comic on tapas superhuman you can read that i have merch of it on society 6 it's all down there in the description thank you for watching bye